Do you handle very lengthy PDF at work and you don't have time to read them? You need to prepare for this meeting. Don't have time to go through this whole 100 pages PDF. I'm David Fortune, I'm a Microsoft MVP. And in this video, I will show you how you can analyze PDF with Microsoft Copilot. And without further ado, I will start with this example right here. We are in Starbucks, a very little known company. And I took their fiscal 24 financial report on the internet it has roughly 100 pages and we're going to go through this example it's public on the internet and we're going to use copilot so i am i am on copilot.microsoft.com and you should be able to do this only if you have the paid version of copilot so if you have the paid version you have those two tabs at the top and i already performed the first example for you so i want to show you something here i said to copilot Position yourself as the CEO of this company. It is a company that sells coffee. We want to summarize the top five key points of this PDF in a bullet point format in order to prepare for an executive meeting. And then I linked the PDF. In the matter of second, Microsoft Copilot came up with these five points right here. It told me about the financial performance of the group, uh, just a small 36.2 billion for fiscal 24. It gave me the segment performance, so the North America, the international, the China development, talked to me about the strategic initiative, the store operations, and the sustainability and social impact. Super, super cool, but I want to highlight something in my prompt up there. I said, position yourself as a CEO of the company. It is really important when you talk to AI to actually give it really a lot of context because it's going to go in its database and actually give you information based on this context. So what if I am the financial uh, manager of this company? Now, can you give me the five key points if I am the CFO of the company? Okay. So now Copilot should analyze my domain very differently and we should see the financial performance uh, popping at the top. In our case, you know, as a CEO, you also want to talk about financial performance. So it is the same information that came up. But look at this. The second point is the cost management. And we're talking about the store operating expense in this case and the product and distribution cost. And uh, as you can see, if I scroll up and I go back to my CEO uh, question, the second point was actually not the cost management because you know what? Copilot took into account the context of my prompt. So this is very, very important. OK, so that was my first example. And let's get deeper into this. If you want to download my top 48 Copilot tips cheat sheet where I tell you what you can do with the tool, you can do it right now in the description below this video. It was downloaded by more than 10,000 people, not 10,000, I'm lying, 1,000 people. Still very impressive, right? Uh, and you can download it right now. Uh, my second example I want to show you, I went on the Starbucks website once again, this company that sells coffee, and I actually downloaded fiscal year 2024 and fiscal year 2023. And I asked Copilot to do a comparison. It can be so handy to do that. Uh, I said to Copilot, can you compare these two PDF and highlight the five main differences? When we do a prompt, we always start with the goal. Then we add some context. I need to do a summary to my team about the main improvement we have had over the last two years. So this is a context and expectation at the same time. And then I tell Copilot the source attached to the PDF attached. Sorry, I can't talk. Attached the PDF of 2024 and also 2023. It is our financial performance and we sell coffee and many other retail products. And then I attach the two PDF. It's insane what Copilot did without me having go through the, the whole document. It told me that in 2024, we had a revenue increase by 12% compared to 2022. And in 2024, it told me that we have an increase of 1% in 2024 versus 2023. Crazy, right? It did this comparison for many other things, the operating income and margin, the comparable store sales and other uh, things such as the segment. So super interesting. I will highly uh, advise you to 
maybe review these uh, these information really quick because the AI isn't perfect. So a quick control F to search through the documents and fact check this. If it's your company, you should have these uh, these numbers on top of your mind and should be able to say, oh yeah, that's true. It makes sense. AI didn't invent anything, but I'm not done. You know, I'm not done. I'm David Fortin. I like to give you more uh, for free, absolutely free on this YouTube channel that you should subscribe right now. By the way, if you enjoy coffee, if you enjoy Copilot, subscribe to this channel because there is so much I can bring you. But as you can see, we can ask more to Copilot. I told Copilot, can you represent these five items on five different charts? So I have a mini dashboard readily available to support this message. As you can see here, Copilot used Python to generate some code and generate some charts. Okay, maybe they don't look amazing, but imagine you have a quick meeting with your boss. You didn't have time to prepare anything. You're like, oh my God, it's in three minutes. I want to uh, convey my message a little bit better. Look at what Copilot did here. Super, super interesting. It did the revenue growth 2023 to 2024. In this case, they look very similar, but imagine in your company how cool this can be. It even compared the store sales in North America and in other segments. It's kind of amazing. If I scroll down, it gave me really for every of these categories. So the operating income here, uh, the operating margin and stuff like that. And please, 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 be careful because sometimes, yes, AI isn't perfect. It's going to hallucinate. So since we gave it a lot of information, we could maybe ask, are you sure of the numbers on the charge number three? I have, num I have different numbers. Sometimes AI make up these numbers. So I want you to be super, super careful. But again, if it's your company, you should be able to assess if the numbers make sense or not, right? So super interesting. It did everything. Uh, for these charts, super interesting. Uh, so here we go. That was my second example already. Super, super cool. Okay, what do we have for the third example? I feel like I'm talking so fast, guys. I just got a coffee myself. It was not a Starbucks, but still was very delicious because I'm really good at uh, doing uh, this milk thing in the coffee. You know, it's right here, right here. Okay, um, all right. So now we're going to go hands on once again on another uh, example of how to analyze a PDF. So first, I will start from scratch. You see right here, I'm at copilot.microsoft.com. Once again, I have a prompt at the bottom. I said, can you list the top five competitors for my company? So again, the goal. Context, I work for a very big coffee shop company that is called Starbucks. I am looking to benchmark or margin against competitor. I work in the finance department and my boss asked me that I, that we have a look at the competition and I will ask an, an expectation. I expect you to list it in five bullet points. Okay, there we go. I added an expectation at the end and I didn't put any source right here. Okay, so here we have a McDonald's, we have Tim Hortons, we have Costa Coffee. I don't know what Costa Coffee here is, but I'm going to grab their, uh, their financial report here. Can you give me the financial reports of Costa Coffee. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to compare with, uh, with the competitors right here. So as you can see, Copilot gave me this, uh, this website right here, the Costa Foundation. And you know, I took it really randomly, but just wanted to highlight the fact that Copilot is really your best friend. You can ask any question. Can you give me the financial report? Boom. It got me on their website. I'm going to try and download it. Here we go. It's probably way uh, smaller than Starbucks, but still, uh, I don't live in the UK, so I don't know. I'm going to save it on my computer and I'm going to go back to my prompt here and I'm going to ask Copilot the following. Can you compare these two companies? For the records, one PDF is the financial reports of Starbucks and the other is the Costa Coffee that we just talked about. I want you to summarize the differences in a tabular format and also suggest some recommendation for Costa Coffee based on this comparison. Okay, here I'm selling, I'm telling anything to the AI and I will just add these uh, baby boys right here. 
as you can see, I can add multiple PDF documents and I will hit the send button up to here. I, I had this example already prepared, but now you will be able to see the magic of Copilot. It's executing the task compare the financial reports. And again, my prompt is not too clean guys, but the idea here is just to give you idea of what the tool can do. It blows my mind that we don't have to scan through all these documents. Again, we have an assistant uh, that is, you know, not that expensive. And now right here, I don't want to do some editing, but here you go. I asked uh, just a comparison. It started with the key financial metrics. As you can see, Costa Coffee is way smaller, 1.3 million pounds versus Starbucks, but still you understand what I did there. It only, it even got me the number of the stores. Uh, I highly invite you to double check all the information, of course, but see, it gave me recommendation for Costa Coffee, Copilot seeing that uh, geographic presence for Starbucks is 87 markets globally. First thing first, it's like, hey, Costa Coffee, you guys are small versus uh, versus Starbucks, very big versus piggy bank accountant. By the way, subscribe to this channel once again. And uh, it gave me lots of things that I can do. Top six, leverage technology, blah, blah, blah. And I could even ask, can you expand more on leverage technology? What did Starbucks do that Costa Coffee should do, right? So it's a conversational robot. You can ask any question you like. You will just ask a question to your colleague or to anyone. So ask this question here. As you can see, digital and mobile platform, a loyalty program, a blockchain technology, customer experience enhancement, and it keeps going and it keeps going and it keeps going. Enough for me today, guys. So I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Copilot, I made a course that is called Copilot Essentials from AI beginner to proficient. Right now, people are loving this course. So the link is in the description below. Description below. Yes, and I will catch you in another video. Peace.